And now I'm going to reassemble the firearm. And when, when with the reassembly, I'm going to go and reverse from the steps that I did for the disassembly. So the last thing I did was remove the bolt. So what I'm going to do is, he gave a tip that if you have gun grease, that you could put a dab of grease here with, for, for the detent that holds the spring. And you can also put some a dab on the spring itself. So we can hold it better while you put it in back into the little recess area. So here's the spring and the bolt. And I do have some gun grease. I'm gonna get a little small dab on my finger. Move my grease. And the bolt goes in how it came out. With the bolt back in place, with the spring in place, I can go on and put the thumb piece and screw back in, back on, I should say. Now I'm going to turn the firearm back over to install the firing pin, firing pin spring, and the firing pin detent. Firing pin goes here, and you want to have the little slot aligned for the detent. This is the detent. I'll see if I can just get it in here with my hands. May not be able to with the gloves. And this is loose, so while I'm maneuvering, I keep my finger there or a thumb there to make sure that pan doesn't fall out. Now I'm going to replace the cylinder stop. Let's see if I can get that in there with some ease. And yes, I was able to get that in there on one drop. Now I'm going to put the trigger and transfer bar back into the firearm. The transfer bar has this little leg that needs to go on this side of the trigger and this hole. And the trigger goes on this leg. And shows that the trigger and transfer bar are together as they should be. Now I'm going to reinstall the spring and plunger for the hand. And the spring goes in the back of the trigger. And that hole in the back of the trigger, spring first.
and the hand. This leg on the hand is for the spring and the plunger for the plunger to push against. And the smaller leg is for the hole in the trigger. Looks as if that worked. Let's check it. Looks like we got it in there. That was difficult, but I do see this Spring and plunger is held back by the leg and from everything that I can see I do have that smaller leg in the trigger hole and I can't see it moving. That was a good one. Now I'm going to reinstall the hammer. I'm going to have the trigger kind of how I had it like where it's half cocked a little. So the sear can get into this area. That wasn't too difficult at all. Now I'm going to replace the trigger strut and spring that I have held together with the paper clip. The ball end goes here into the, the recess. Let's see. See that little indentation in the back of the trigger? The ball end goes in there. where it needs to be now. So when I pull it all the way back, when I pull the trigger, when I pull the trigger all the way back, I can remove the paper clip and just make sure okay, it can be done in there a little more. Let's take another look, hold that pin. Okay, that's in the right, it's nice and flush. And it is where it needs to be in the back of the trigger. And here is a function check for the trigger strut. As you can see, I have the hammer down. I'm going to pull it back on the bolt so I can cock it like the hammer would be cocked in double action or in single action now. And as you can see, of course, there's no spring to make the hammer go forward. But when the trigger is pulled, you can see the transfer bar is there. You can see that the energy pushes the firing pan through with the transfer, through the transfer bar. And the trigger strut holds it in place. So there's the function checks and now I'm going to go on and put the cylinder back on. And to put the cylinder back in, I'm gonna put my thumb or finger over this pan to make sure it doesn't come out and the spring from the yoke and the cylinder just goes in like that then you can to make sure it's in the right space just go in and close the cylinder which will hold everything in place now I'm going to put the hammer strut 
and spring back in. And as you can see, there's a recess right here on the back of the hammer that the head of the hammer strut goes into. Once I get it in there, I can go on and cock the hammer with the pull. And with the hammer cocked, you can see this is it's in the right orientation. And let me just make sure, okay. Want to make sure that was in this right place. Then the paper clip can be removed. A functions check. Hammer cock to single action. Let's check that again. You can see when the hammer cocks, the cylinder moves. Everything is functioning right. The cylinder stop. Thing is in place. And right to double action. All right, and now with everything checked with the functions checked there, the only thing left to do is put the side plate back on and the grip. And when putting the side plate back on, there is a groove up here that you want to put into that area and make sure that firing pan retaining pin is nice it's in there so again like I said I want to put this in that groove and you can push down as you can see it's already flush with the frame and I'll get my screw that goes here that has the spring and plunger A smaller screwdriver for these screws and I turn I like to turn back once just to make sure I don't cross thread to get it lined up keep it nice keep it in the slot so I don't get any scratches on the frame or on the side plate so back to be lined up Don't want to strip anything. <laughs> Just making sure. Then with the side plate back on, I slide the grip back up. Make sure I see that hole is aligned. You guys see that in the camera? And my roll pin was under my block so I'll go on and put this I think I it came out this way so I guess I put it back in this on this side Grippers replaced. Now let me do a, fu a functions check. 
make sure the cylinder cylinder stop is working single action pull the hammer back cylinder turns trigger comes back in place release the hammer pull the trigger you can see the firing pan release the trigger pull the trigger for the double action trigger pull And that is a full disassembly and reassembly of the Taurus 856 double action revolver.